Hey, what's up, boys? So, today we got something new here. Uh, partially new, I guess. Uh, so, this build may look a little bit familiar to you. And that is because it's essentially a modified version of my SU30 build. And yeah. So, let's spawn it in. So, this is actually. Um, instead of being an SU-30, it, as some of you can tell, it is my attempt at making a MiG-29. So yeah, I essentially just uh, copied my SU-30 build into another safe slot, and then from there I just modified the wings, the rudders, elevators, and all that, and then that's how I got this. So it has all the same armament. But I changed the jet to being a single seater, cause yeah, make 29. Although it does appear to be slower than my SU30 though, in like straight line speed. Yeah. So because of the um, the jet becoming a single seater, I was able to mount the machine guns all in the singular line. Um, and yeah, that means my MG damage is a lot more concentrated, which is a good thing for me. As you can see, we got the afterburner, we got the red star. So yeah, um, the paint job itself is still kind of rough, but it for me it's still good enough for now, because at least the the top here is painted. I might just keep the underside paint job, even though it's the exact same as the SU-30. Cause, yeah. I don't really feel like there's a need to change it just yet. Um, what else do I got? Oh yeah, uh, flares. So, let's go do that right now. And yeah, there's flares. <laughs> So it has a lot of the same mechanics as my other jet aircraft. It's pretty much just the reskin, like I said. Um, and yeah, as you can see, I can still do the infinite cull bit. Um, and yeah, and I've been testing it in public PvP, and in my opinion, it's pretty good. So yeah. So the landing gear is the exact same, although the front landing gear does have a little bit of a more difficult time to get out, which I still need to fix. Um, I extended the intakes to more match the uh, MiG-29's intake placement. What else do I got? Uh, I also shifted the wing-mounted missiles because of I had to remake the wings from the ground up, more or less. Uh, not like the entire thing, but just the the wings. Hang on. So I just had to remake around from this part or so, and including this area over here. But I got to keep everything else, which was definitely a time saver. Um, I also got to add uh, two more hover drives, as you can see because of the extended intakes, so more space. And uh, yeah, you can see the machine guns right there. Um, hmm. <laughs> There's my friend's F-16. Alright, I'm just gonna go test something real quick. I'm now curious about this. So if I remove that helium block right in the nose, I uh, wanna see how well it's going to uh, deploy the landing gear. Alright. Oh yeah, that, that definitely works better. 
Let's see how it performs though. Okay, so it's more or less the same. Yeah, I don't really feel much of a difference. So I think I might just keep it like this actually. And then I'll do the same diff uh do the same changes to my uh my C30 because it does kinda annoy me whenever the landing gear just gets stuck. So yeah. Well, at least I finally got a fix for that. So, um, I'm just gonna go... Hmm. No oh, way. Alright, so we might be able to do um, a dogfight. Alright, uh, for now, while I wait, I'm just gonna go land at airport. Oh yeah, and also I took out the parachute. So yeah, I took out the parachute that used to be here in the back, because I used to, when I still had it, it would kind of just uh, flop around, even though it wasn't deployed, so I, and I, it was really easy to notice, so I just uh, took it out. Alright, taxi... Boom. So yeah, let's just do like a little quick walk around. So over here, this is where I have the flares. Um, I, they couldn't all be next to each other like last time with my SU-30 because of how I, uh, how I built the elevators here. So yeah, it would have interfered with them actually being able to drop out of the plane, so I decided to just move it. So all the missile mountings over here are the same. Um, like I said, these were changed. Use the red star because it's a Russian jet. Um, intakes, you can't really go in. And. So, yeah, here we have the thrusters. Alright, it's dogfight time. Let's do this. Yeah, like all this here, it's still the same. So yeah, you get the general idea of uh, what I did. Nothing too much compared to my other builds, so yeah. But at the same time, that's also what made this uh, kind of a nice build to make, and rather than just like being kind of annoying. Because I already had a template in the form of my SC-30 build, and then I was able to just change stuff based off of that. Alright, I'm airborne. I'm probably gonna lose because I'm gonna mess something up if, when I do my post stall maneuver, but uh, let's see how that goes. Alright, see him. He's good. 
All right, I'm going guns. Fox two missed. Fox two. Missile connected, alright. Starting to chip away at his jet. So this is typically how my dogfights go when I'm playing uh, with my friend uh, Yidis and also a couple of my other friends. We usually just go for post stall maneuver dogfights. They're pretty fun in my opinion, so yeah. Ooh, okay, I got some gun hits. Just got rammed. Nice. Okay, he's flying straight. I am screwing something up. I don't know. Fox 2. So that was too far ahead. I'm getting some good gun hits, though. Oh, I just missed. They literally went around him. Rip. Oh, shoot. Alright, missile connected. Can't tell when he's gonna launch. Gotta get my totally functional flares ready, because that's gonna help. Alright, deploying flares. They're definitely more of just a role play or aesthetic piece, but gosh darn, they look so cool to me. It's so simple yet so effective. I, I don't know why, but gosh darn, I love it. I almost got hit again, should probably stop. Oh, my left engine's actually gone already. Rip. I think it got shot off. That's what I assume. Oop. Splash one. Alright, GG, GG. I think I actually killed his avatar. Hold up. Oh yeah, I took out a few of my blocks actually. I think it was mostly gun hits for both of us though. Yeah, so I think that's going to mark the end of today's showcase. Um, oh, it actually, hang on. There's a little bonus thing here. And I just got to save the make stuff. So, I also slightly upgraded... Yeah, give me... Alright, I think we're gonna do like a sort of screenshot, so that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Behind the scenes footage, let's go.
get the screenshot. Alright, so, as for the last part of this video, I'm just going to show you guys my upgraded F-22. So I just made a few modifications. Most notably, I added flares! <laughs> so yeah, I added flares, um, put some extra wing panels here to fill up this empty space, because it wasn't, I didn't really like that. Um... I forgot if I showed you guys, but it's back to a single seater. Um, I greatly increased the uh, the propellers here for post stall maneuvers, and I think that's it. Yeah. Also, hover drives, plus this giant motor lock. So let me just get this up and running. So yeah, the new top speed on my F-22, um, it thankfully goes around 13 or 14, oh wait, no. So it's, it's nearing the speed of my SU-35, still slower, but yeah, definitely improved. So thrust vectoring still works, even though it doesn't technically. Still as maneuverable as ever. Um, and now I can flip like crazy. And next thing I'm probably gonna add might be the trails for, uh, like, the, the, the vapor coming off of the wings, like I have on my MIGs, uh, like I have on my MIG and my SU-30. Cause, I don't know, I just like that. And, yeah, let me just, so the only problem I have with, the uh, flares on this jet is that they poke out. But, yeah. So let me just launch them real quick. And yeah. Alright boys, that's going to be the end for today's video. Um, hang on. Let's give you just some screen time for participating. Hmm. Uh, where is he at? Oh, there he is. Butter landing? Hey yo. Nice. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for today's video. And yes, I know my avatar is messed up. Um my shirt just didn't show up for some reason. But yeah. So yeah, this is Yidis. Be my friend. This is F-16. 
pretty nice. <laughs> so yeah, this is his F-16. Got, I think, four missiles total. Here's his uh, afterburner setup. Got some angle locking. And he got the rockets. Alright, so yeah, it's going to be it. Uh, the end of the video. Um, like and sub, and uh, see you all next one. Bye.